Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is John and you guys watching Tech Talk. The month of October continues to be a good month for VR. We saw the Vive Flow announcement over a week ago and just last Thursday, Vario announced their latest VR headset. It is a prosumer VR headset, not just consumer. It is a professional VR headset that's available for anybody with the money to buy that headset, okay? I'm gonna share with you my personal opinions about this headset, and I'm also gonna talk about the Vive Flow, so stay tuned. I'll be right back. Welcome back to the channel guys. I always like to start these videos uh, by thanking you guys, thanking every single one of you for watching, for stopping by, and for subscribing to my channel if you already subscribed. You are watching Tech Talk. Tech Talk is a channel where I share my personal opinions with you on tech on a weekly basis. So this week, Volio made their new VR headset announcement, the Volio Arrow. The arrow is a great step for Vario, but not necessarily good for consumer VR users. The Vario arrow is a good step forward for VR, but it's what we call a prosumer VR headset. The, the Vario arrow VR headset is what we should expect from Vario. Vario is a company well known for top of the line professional level VR headset. So the Vario Aero is a professional VR headset. The Aero support 115 degrees field of view, automatic IPD adjustment, eye tracking. That is common in all Vario VR headsets. Support a 90 Hz refresh rate, dual LED LCD, 2880 by 2720 pixel per eyes. So there's no annual subscription, which is good, uh, but we are missing a few features here. The Aero doesn't have integrated headphones, so the headset is comfortable, but it's somewhat heavy. You have to buy an ACC Vibe controller or a pair of Vibe knuckle. You will need some Vibe base station also. Uh, if you don't have this accessory around your house, you will need to spend the money to buy them. And you also need an expensive computer because um, you need a good graphic card, recommended RTX 3080 to one headset. So compared to the Vive Flow, the Aero is a PC VR headset that runs on Steam VR. The Aero is a prosumer VR headset that can use the entire Steam VR library and also play some Oculus desktop VR games. Unlike the Vive Flow, it's not wireless. The Vive Flow and the Aero are two promising headsets. I believe that failed to deliver for the consumer VR market. The Vive Flow lack of a controller and its limited power to run VR games, its limited storage capability and its limitation to wirelessly play your PC VR game makes it hard to choose. The Volio Aero is a powerful VR headset with wireless limitation, but it's excellent for VR games and everything else, but hard to recommend due to the price. Uh, $1,990, that's expensive when we're talking about consumer friendly VR headset. So my final opinion today, guys, when it comes to choosing between the Volio or the Vive Flow for your next headset, it's a tough choice. The Vive Flow is very limited as a VR headset and the volume is too expensive to be a VR for everyone like Volume wanted it to be. As much as I hate to say this, the Vive Flow is a better choice for consumer VR by now, okay? If you have to choose between them two. So there you have it guys. That's all I have for today's video. Thanks for watching this video. 
If you like topic like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Your subscription will make us better. Take care of yourself. And see you guys next time for my next video. Thanks for watching.